Hello, how's it going guys? My name is Rick, and today we have a little bit of a different video. Usually with my videos, I sit down and I explain how to build the objects before you, but today we're doing something a little different. Today is kind of a artistic talk, because in all honesty, I learned something this week, and I think it's an important thing to share. During this last week, I decided to give myself a challenge to build towers and or tubes or something out of soda cans, sometimes with objects of odd shapes and or rigid forms, I'm able to bring something to life. But this time around, I actually didn't have anything stirring about. I looked at these soda cans and I just thought, geez, what do I even make? For the first time in a long time, I was having art block. So I decided to go back in time and look at some of the pieces I've made in the past and to see if there's anything there that I could work off of. A lot of the builds that I used in the past were kind of flat, kind of okay. They were simple, and sometimes simple is good, sometimes less is more. But a lot of the times when I was looking at some of my builds, they felt a little lackluster, sometimes lifeless. Yes, the paint jobs were pretty decent, but something was missing. Some sort of complexity, some sort of life, some sort of diversity and contrast between the objects themselves and the bits that were being used. Something was not there. So I did what any other artist would do. I went online to look at my favorite creators and to see what do they do so different from my work that makes me so excited and inspired to create. Two of my favorite YouTubers stood out this week for inspiration, Scratch Bashing and Bill Making Stuff. These two are able to create things from almost nothing, from trash, from stuff from the side of the road, to beads, to deodorant bottles, making automatons and or orc bunkers. It's amazing what these two are capable of, and it was extremely inspiring. Now, one of the things I've noticed with myself is that walking the line of inspiration can be a little dangerous. Falling over is easy. Falling into, well, my stuff or what I'm building currently is not as good as theirs, so I should just stop. Maybe I need to start a new project. Maybe I'm not good at this at all. A little bit of imposter syndrome tries to sneak its way in. But I continued going forward because that's the only way to get better. The moment art block settles in is the moment a possible breakthrough might happen. Now, giving myself a little patience this week, I decided to watch, study, and try to learn from these two artists. Scratch bashing made a massive point that I had actually fallen out of step with, which was that you have to practice. One of the biggest things that I used to do when I was drawing way back four or five years ago, drawing sketchbook after sketchbook after sketchbook, was getting references, building a library of images and things that I'd seen out in real life and or in other parts of the art world. Back then, I had to constantly remind myself that sketchbooks were not big pieces of art like a canvas. They were smaller works of art. They were moments of messing up. They were moments of practice and working on and referencing in order to later be able to create something bigger than what you would have been able to do without it. And the same thing applies here with terrain building and crafting and painting miniatures. It all takes a little bit of reference. It takes time. Building a library of messed up models and wonky pieces of terrain, things that seem flat and boring and, well, lifeless. And so with these patient thoughts and stepping stones, instead of stressing and or expecting things to be better, I just started placing bits together. Even though that some of the bits felt wrong to place in certain spots, I thought it's okay. Because just like I used to doodle back in the day, I learned certain little lines, scribbles, wiggles, and all sorts of stuff that I liked and I didn't like. 
and by building a object that I didn't like or I liked or over cluttered or under cluttered, I'd be able to figure out what I wanted in the future. The second thing I did on these builds was not give myself a limitation of theme. I love the 40k universe, but I've been stuck in it for a long time, and I think when it comes to building terrain from scratch, it's important to let go of certain themes, because sometimes the bits influence the themes more than the theme itself. Once I let go of those themes, I saw different themes within these builds just by allowing myself to freely flow between them. One of the pieces felt like something from Star Wars, something on Tatooine. Another piece reminded me of the video game Kenshi, a desert wasteland apocalypse type of world built of rust and metals and junk. And the third one felt like something from the Necromunda setting, a hive world underground place with pipes and tubes and all sorts of old mechanical works and wares. This whole video was a fun journey, building and making reference and practicing. It's not something I usually do. Most of the time when it comes to these videos, I try to make some sort of glamorous and glorious and huge piece of art, something with a climax. But this time around, I just practiced and practicing was good. Practicing makes perfect. I think it's important to show practice. It's not talked about enough. A lot of us see the end results, but not a lot of us see the journey. And thank you for joining me on this journey. This whole video is extremely short, I think one of our shortest so far, but for me, this video is all it needs to be. I'm not not trying to push myself, but I'm also trying to be bluntly honest with the work and with the journey that I've made going thus far. So thank you. Thank you for joining us. These builds aren't my favorite, but they're an example of things that take time, of building reference and practice. So when you go to paint your models or build your terrain pieces or go about trying to create something, remember, have patience, have practice, and enjoy the journey. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button subscribe, and share with anyone who might be having some art block. As always, me and BoxNot, thank you so much, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.